Wee Ka Siong has maintained that it was Deepak Jai Kishan who called him twice on Monday. The MCA president also urged the former carpet dealer to lodge a police report if someone had impersonated him. At a press conference held in Parliament this afternoon, we also furnish evidence in the form of screenshots of the caller ID to substantiate his claim. Untuk makluman, panggilan telefon tersebut dibuat pada jam 9.51 pagi selama 33 saat sebelum terputus. Kemudiannya, disusuli dengan panggilan kedua pada jam 9.52 pagi dengan perbualan selama 7 minit. Inilah bukti yang saya ambil daripada screenshot telefon bimbit saya. According to him, Deepak rang him on Monday using a phone number ending 9989 with the initial DJT on his WhatsApp profile. Jadi, jika menggunakan aplikasi TrueCaller, hasil carian berdasarkan nombor tersebut dimiliki oleh seorang insan bernama Deepak J. Tekwani. We added that the profile picture of the caller on WhatsApp also resembled Deepak Jai Kishan. Sekiranya Deepak Jai Kishan berasakan ada orang yang menyamar atau impersonate beliau atas nama Deepak membuat panggilan kepada saya pada 13 Mac 2023 jam 9.51 pagi saya menyeru agar Deepak Jai Kishan membuat laporan polis bagi membersihkan namanya. Saya bersedia bekerjasama dengan pihak polis di Raja Malaysia PDRM dan akan mendedahkan segala bukti yang ada biarlah PDRM menyiasat perkara ini. However, the MCA president said the avatar was changed after he had revealed that Deepak had name dropped the Prime Minister's office. Yesterday Malaysia Kini contacted the number cited by We The owner of the number however claimed that he is not Deepak and addressed himself as Mr Raja. He also claimed to be an aide of one of the shareholders of JNE Advanced Tax Sandirian Berhad. JNE is the sole company that Putrajaya allowed to import eggs from India during a local supply shortage. Speaking to Malaysia Kini yesterday, Deepak denied contacting we and links to JNE.